Okay guys, we're gonna draw two realistic polar bears. So to start, we're gonna make the face of the bigger polar bear. So this is going to be his nose and the bump to the top of his head. Okay, so then we can put ears here and here. There's the nose. And because we're being realistic, we're going to make small eyes that are colored in black. Okay. Okay, now this bear, he's turning his head this way, but his body is going to be behind him. So we're going to make his flashed legs first. Okay, and then we're going to curl over for a paw. Go up. Okay, cross first chest. And come down for his other paw. Now before we go back up. I'm going to put the back of the baby bear over here. So I'm going to make a little flat line. And bump, bump. Okay, so now we have that, we can finish this leg. So I'm going past the neck because we're going to make the back of the bear wrap all the way around. And the bear's belly. Now, in between here, we're going to see his last foot peeking. Now, before we do the baby, on each foot, I'm going to put four little claws. If I can fit them. If I can't fit every call, that's okay. Some of them are going to be hidden. Okay, now for the baby, we're going to go ahead and put a little ear. Okay. 
I'm going to do the back foot. front foot. And a little cross. Okay, and now the polar bears would be hanging out on the ice. So we're going to make a ziggy line. And where this little zig happens, make a straight line. So it looks like they're standing on a sheet of ice. I'm going to make another big shape back here. And then anywhere I have a little zig, I'm going to make a little straight line. And on the end, I'm going to make a little straight line. And then I'm going to trace the edge. And that looks like a piece of ice floating in the water. Make another one over here. And a few little ones. Each one for little dashes and edges. Now we've got our polar bears out on the ice. This part in between the ice cubes is going to be water. So I'm going to add a little bit of ripples. And that part could get colored in. Okay, we're going to shade our polar bears we worked on. So you could use a pencil. I've got an ebony pencil here, so it's kind of thick pencil, but you could use any pencil. So first thing, the noses on the polar bears are black. So I'm going to shade those in. And then around the nose, there's a little bit of gray. Just a little bit. Don't go dark with this. It's really soft. 
and you can even spread it pick one finger that you don't mind being smudgy and you can kind of spread your shading okay so once you get that how you like it we're gonna go down to his chest and make sort of triangle there shade that in okay now his back leg that you can see peek in between that's going to be all shaded because it's, um, we're seeing it from through his legs, so the light that's coming down from the sun is not going to hit that. Okay, then the inside of this leg, sort of the same thing, it's under his body, so it's going to be shaded in. And his belly, bottom of his belly is going to be shaded a little bit. Now, we're going to make sort of an oval leading from his foot to the other bear. And then all that's going to be shaded in because that's the shadow he's casting on the ice that he's standing on. Let's go to baby bear. His back leg's gonna have a little shadow and under his head. Then in between the legs. And we'll make another little oval. Okay, and then if you, you'll have a little bit of smudging on your finger, you can kind of blend around the bottom of his body without actually coloring it to give it a little bit of shading. Same thing on big polar bear's leg. Just kind of tracing that line with my smudgy finger to make a little bit of shading without actually coloring. Right. Now on each ice patch, I'm going to shade that little shelf part. As I get to the edge of it, where that little straight line is, I make it a little darker. And then in the middle, I let it be a little lighter. I'm going to do that on each of these ice patches. Now don't get this background shading into your bear. Now you could color this water blue if you want, um, or you could color it just in with this pencil if you don't have colors. Because it, the water is really going to depend on what's reflecting and if it's not a blue sky maybe it's dark like nighttime and you could be a black or maybe it's gray and cloudy so you could color the water in blue like the sky or you could color the water in by just shading it
think I might shade mine since I've already started with the, the shading pencil. So. Alright, there's my polar bear picture and I didn't get pencil all over the table because I was taking my time making it look nice. Alright guys, bye!